My third lacerator build by Dangerously Incompetent. I went and bought myself a Cerberus for that 5 bars of power and a top speed of 100 kilometers an hour. Maybe I'll catch people now. I've also moved from the Bigfoot with its minus 20% power to Shiv wheels at minus 12% power. So hopefully that should help my acceleration at the low end. Four lacerators to do out the damage, plus the Cerberus's five damage bar grindy thing at the front. A small plow to see if we can out wedge the wedges, because if I drive up a wedge, then my lacerators are pointing up in the air, they're not going to do much damage, and I'm all forever driving up wedges because I'm trying to close with them. And if all they do is go backwards, all I'm going to see is their wedge on the front. And that's what I got got to close with, unless I drive around and manage to get them out, catch them out with a cap can. Uh, expanded ammo pack for extra cap can goodness. Colossus for the low end grunt. Chameleon for getting the jump on people. Maxwell for seeing where people are and who to get and not to run into ambushes. And a couple of hover catchers. All coming in for just under 7,000 power score. Off we go into battle on the crater map. Now none of my lacerated builds so far have been particularly good at wedges. All they have to do is get the wedge facing me, either coming towards me or they're backing off. Just as long as the wedge is facing me, I can't close with them because otherwise I just drive up the wedge and my lacerators are waving around in the air doing nothing. So the way to deal with wedges is to get them by surprise, I use the chameleon, or get them hooked on a cap can and then I can get round to their side of a rear. So let's not charge straight into, into the middle of combat, but ooh, what's that? That's some, that's an enemy who's charged in, isolated himself, let's go for him, he's busy. And I got his rear and... Where's half my lacerator's gone? Where's the half of my lacerator's gone? Did he shoot them off with a volley? No. Let's go back and look at that in slow motion. It's, it, he didn't shoot. He didn't shoot at all. No, it's what actually happened is my ram destroyed the APC roof part that the lacerators are attached to. And I'll show you what I mean in the garage. Here's my lacerators. And if we start taking parts off... See, this lacerator was attached to that large fender and it's also attached to this lacerator but then that lacerator is not attached to the cabin it's attached to this roof part as you can see the front of the cabin hasn't got any, any attachment parts to it so if I want my lacerators to be in parallel with the, the grinder on the front of the Cerberus I either have to bring the frame forward but I can't because there's this bit of the cabin. This is part of the cabin. You can see that is the frame level and that stops me bringing any frame forward straight down the middle and to bring frame forward here means I need to push the wheels back. And lacerators aren't very light. They're not super heavy but they're not light. And pushing the wheels back further makes means I'm really nose heavy. I'm fairly at the limit really of nose heavy as it is, because nose heavy really affects your uh maneuverability. If you've got a big weight sticking out here, your turning's horrible. So the only way I can get my lacerators at the front nicely is to attach them to something here. So I went for about the biggest piece I could manage to fit there. APC roof part. That's the, that's the first time they've actually dropped off that I've noticed from a ram. So it's most of the time it works, but not that battle. Lancers are another sort of build you don't really want to deal with with a melee build because to do damage to them I've got to close and that brings me within range of their nasty old lances which do really sting and with this build with the Cerberus and I'm using the grindy weapon on the front of the cabin the lacerators aren't protecting the cabin from a frontal hit 
They'll go straight, the Lancers would go straight into my cabin, which is bad news. I really don't want to meet a Lancer. So I'm going to hang around here. Oh, did you see that on the mini-map? Someone started moving forward and then disappeared. That's a melee build m making their surprise attack. I don't want to hang around where I was because I'm very vulnerable to being swamped because I've got no support. And there he is. He's one-shotted somebody, but he hasn't quite noticed I'm on his tail. Oh, can I... Oh, I think he might have noticed me. Oh, don't touch the front. So I've got the cap can out. And there we are. Yes, that's how you do it. You get them on your cap can, and now I've got them on my side. And, oh, my ally has rammed him in the nose and thus disposed of the Lancers. Oh, I'll just finish him off then, shall I? Oh, no, self-destructing, run away. And that's how to deal with Lancers. Let someone else take the hit and then go after them. Right, and how's the rest of the battle going? Yeah, we're still at the standoff stage. I don't want to go round into the enemy half because that means I'm surrounded. But like this guy has just done to us. <laughs> First hit, taking off his wheel. Now, now, now let's not get on the harvester, shall we? Someone else has taken off his other wheels. Now he's easy. He shouldn't have gone round the corner, really, should he? I'm not going to repeat his mistake and go around the corner on my own. Oh, we're going forward. That's a good distraction. Time to cloak up. No one will notice me cloaking up because they're too busy shooting up the guys at the front. Oh, oh can I get him on the... S no. Oh, he's, he's almost as fast as I am. No, he is as fast. Oh, he's turned. Aha, there's a wheel. There's the cap can down. And yes, he can't get away when his cap can, can he? Ha 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 ha! Ow. Ow. Now, if only I can get to his side on this front where his wasps are pointing. Oh. Yeah, I'm regretting using shivs. At this sort of power score, they're quite low durability and they disappear so very, very easily, leaving you crippled. Go away, Mr. Explodey. Go away. Ow. One wheel left. Still got my grinder on the front of the Kerberos. Can I get something there? Ho hum. Well, it's all up to you, Spartan CCP. So, a lovely, cloaky, dodgy hover. Look how fast he's moving around. How's he doing that? Uh, look at his uh, durability. He's got the cabin, and that's about it, as far as durability con uh, structure parts are concerned. Yeah. Right, it's a win. How do you do? 900 points, 4 kills, that'll do. Putting the plough on the front I think was a mistake. It hasn't helped much with the wedges, It just it is, it's lovely and low to the ground but I'm not lifting wedges and we just hit each other and stop. Which means my lacerators aren't doing anything and I'm at perfect range for their shotguns. So that's not helping much and also actively is a, a real problem when it comes to uh, tracks, big armour tracks and the goliath tracks because my favourite tactic there is to round, wedge whack myself against their side and keep pushing so it's really difficult for them to get, up, get off me and just grind and grind and grind eventually you go through the goliath and into their vulnerables but of course where the plough is stops my lacerators getting to the side and it doesn't lift the tracks so yeah don't put a plough there my advice Overall, I would rate this build as poor, and it's mostly the Cerberus's cabin fault. That is, um, it's not abysmal. You can still kill people. You can still contribute to the team, especially with your cap can. That helps the team win for quite a lot. But the, the Cerberus, okay, has got five power and he's got a hundred speed and he's got a grindy thing on the front with 75 percent melee resistance doesn't protect against the explosions from lancers or being shot by junk bows or anything and that that grindy things yeah i'm not using the shield of lacerators to their maximum effect and the front of the nose of the servers is just horrible for attaching stuff to it. It hasn't got attachment points, it blocks the frame coming forward underneath it. Oh, it's rubbish. I wish I'd never bought the cabin. 
But there you go, live and learn.